And now I'd like to welcome in John Wall. John, thank you so much for joining us. What's up, Rachel? How are you doing? Thanks for having me. You have been recovering from your Achilles injury, and it had gotten to the point you were scrimmaging with the Wizards G League team, throwing down some serious dunks, friend, and then everything came to a grinding halt with this shutdown. How has that hampered things for you? Um, it's kind of been cool, you know. I mean, it's a little different just doing my workouts from home. Um, luckily, I have a half court basketball court in the weight room where I could do some cardio and uh, abs and things like that. But it kind of like knocked it off balance because I'm not getting it up and down five on five condition that I like to do. But other than that, I'm just great being at home and trying to stay safe. Well, you look amazing out there in those highlights. The Wizards have pronounced you out for this entire season, but of course now this season could extend into July or August possibly. If that were to happen, is there any chance you could play a few games there at the end? Nah, I just think with our program and what we got scheduled for next season, like what one of my ultimate goal is to make sure I'm fully all the way healthy. Um, weight is down to where I wanted that, so we're going to wait until next season, but with all this going on, it's kind of like, oh, did you think about it or do you have that chance to make a push and make a run? But in, in our best case scenario, we're just going to wait till next season. Well, I know Wizards fans are going to be disappointed, but that's good news about their conditioning in general. Did you drop weight? Yeah, I dropped a lot of weight. I'm down to 212 now. And I'm just trying to get like to 205 or 200, like in between that range. They say uh, the best case scenario for you to come back from this injury and be the best you possibly could be, you have to lose lose weight and get down to probably where you used to be at, a couple of pounds. And that's where my ultimate goal is, to lock in on that part and make sure I'm in the best shape possible. How much did you lose? What were you down from? I was down from 224, 225. All right. I was like eight months with no running, no jogging, so it was very difficult. So I had to be on a very, very strict diet. I get it. There's good French fries out there in D.C. I understand. <laughs> Brad Beal, of course, has been having a great season before things shut down, and he went on our friend Zach Lowe's podcast. He said that there was a point over the course of this season where there was some weirdness between the two of you. Brad's exact words were, quote, it was noise that was noticeable. We couldn't ignore it. He said it got to the point where we eventually had a conversation. Do you have a problem with me? No. Do you have a problem with me? No. He said we just handled it like grown men. Is that how you would describe it? Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Like, like people don't understand, like, we're two young guys that's both talent in this league or both stars in this league, and we both want to have the ball in our hands a lot. We both want to take the last shot. And um, you can't take it away from two guys that's very talented. And so at the end of the day, we just had a conversation of, like, yo, you know what? I'm not John Wall without you. You're not Bradley Bill without me. And we understand that. And we know everybody that's not in the locker room around us every day and see us work out and how we compete and make each other better. The outside noise can kind of hamper your team if you allow it. But uh, just watch him develop and get better and see him play now. I can't wait to play with a guy like that that's involved this game to a whole nother level. And throughout this whole time of me just sitting back watching, kind of being a coach, studying more film and getting my game better the best I can so I can help him and contrib contribute to him is always going to help us. In the meantime, I know you've been coaching from the sidelines. Your coach, Scotty Brooks, said you're like a basketball savant during timeouts. Has this season taught you that you might actually want to go into coaching? Uh, maybe might be coaching, might want to be a GM or something like that. But like my ultimate goal is to stick with basketball when my career is over. Like that's how much I love the game. Um, I'm watching old college games of girls and the WNBA games. And even without us being able to play, I'm locked into it. John Wall running a team one day. I love it. You know, before we go, I did want to go to a more somber note and ask you about one of your Kentucky guys, Carl Anthony Towns, who, of course, so tragically lost his mother to coronavirus earlier this week. You lost your own mother just a few months ago. Have you talked to him? What words of support can you offer him? No, I haven't spoken to Carl, but I just want to send my condolences to Kat and his family. Um, I know what I know what it's like to lose a mom. Um, I know I know what he's definitely going through. Um, I, this past Sunday on the um, – the 12th made it the fourth month since I lost my mom. And um, it's different circumstances for both of us, but um, I just know what the pain is and it's still the same. And it's something you can never get over, man. You, all you basically can do is just try to sit there and talk to somebody that's been through it or spend time like just reminiscing on those memories and things like that. And that's the best thing you can do, but it's never going to get old because that's your best friend. That's your mom. Like that's who put you on this earth. That's who gave you the world to breathe and everything you want to enjoy. So like, it's always going to be tough. So every time the 12th hit of every month since my mom passed December 12th, it'd always be tough days. And you kind of see my posts. So I uh, just send my condolences to Cat and wishing them best. And if you need anybody to talk to, you can definitely always hit my line.
And you've spent so much time in hospitals and with doctors in the last year and a half. What has it been like for you watching what's going on in the country right now? Man, those doctors have been amazing. The nurses, everybody that's doing the work out here is, is great for us. And I like to give a thanks to all those people that's on the front line between the doctors, the nurse, the hospital staff, the EMS workers, police officers, grocery store workers. We appreciate everything you're doing because people don't understand that you're putting a high risk at your life of being out there to try to make sure we have things to make sure we can stay healthier or help people fight this virus. So y'all are doing a great job. Keep it going. And uh, everybody just do your part, man. Just stay safe, stay inside. If you want to go outside, please wear a mask and wear gloves, but stay away from people and just take this serious because people are losing their lives. And we got to really stay focused and be together as a family and as a group and as a team. And John, thanks so much. We really appreciate that. Stay safe yourself and uh, we'll see you on the court next season. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.